What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can stop the best route in Madden 21, or Madden 22, I'm sorry, in my opinion, and that's the table route. I think the table route is one of the best routes in the game this year, and you can do this from bunch, you can do this from trips tied in, you can do this from pretty much any formation in the game, and it's very effective. And so, uh, first I wanna break down the problem, and then I'm gonna break down kind of the solution to the problem. Um, so I'm just going to come out in the trips tied in doubles and sale. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We upload videos every single day that can help you get better at the mat, at the game uh, on both sides of the ball, defense and offense. So if you're looking to get better at the game, again, I would encourage you to subscribe. We've got our first defensive guide of the season coming out later today. So be sure to stay on the lookout for that. I'm really actually feeling kind of decent on defense uh, at this point. I've been putting a ton of work in, learning different pressure schemes, but also, and really more importantly than pressure, <laughs> learning coverage schemes because the coverage in this game is really difficult and you really have to dive in because it's very different than Madden 21 current gen as we're on the Madden 22 PS5 version of the game. And so I wanted to first start with the table route. Like I said, I think the table route is one of the best routes in the game. So I'm just going to come out in uh, doubles and sale. And then what I'm going to do on defense is uh, I'm just going to come out in, you know, cover three match. And what you're going to see here is I'm just going to play, um, you know, I'm just going to put this this uh, seam flat zone. I'm going to turn this into um, just a man coverage onto the R1 receiver. And what you're going to see here, I'm actually going to flip this so that we can get a better look at this. So let me just do this. Okay. And I just want you to watch this table route. So this is interesting. So if they man it up, it really isn't going to do anything. Um, you're going to see here that I can throw this table route when it cuts to the outside. As you can see right there for an easy, you know, 5 to 10 yards. Another thing that I can do uh, really quick, I'm going to jump into my zone drops. Um, and if I were to put a 10 yard flat out there, uh, what you're going to see is this is going to be pretty good uh, in terms of getting open against the table route. So again, I'm going to flip it. And these are specific to the short side. So I'm just going to play hard flat coverage out there at about 10 yard depth. And what you're going to see is I can still throw this table route. Snap, throw this to the outside. And as you can see, I can throw it. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and pump the ball back to or back to the other side. And the reason that I like to do, I want to talk real quick about why I choose to lab defense in game mode. The reason I do that for two reasons. Number one, you can't set zone drops in practice mode, so you can't really lab your coverage scheme. The second reason, and more importantly, is that blitzing schemes and really routes, how you're going to defend and things, they are a little bit different in the game than they are in practice mode. So I like to kind of get that game feel. And all I do is I just turn the play clock off. So I have unlimited time pretty much to uh, to look at this. Okay, guys, so I want to show you um, now how we can... I'm going to show this same route, but I want last thing I want to do, I just want to kick the ball back. But it's the same thing from Gun Bunch, guys. I can do that from Gun Bunch, and I can throw that route pretty much all game long, especially if your opponent's not using zone drops. If they don't use zone drops... Hard flats don't stop that, which is something different this year than ever really before, I think, in that. Well, not ever before, but in this year specifically, zone drops don't stop the table route, okay? So, or, um, no, I'm sorry, not zone drops, but hard flats don't stop the table route. So, that leads me to kind of think and be curious a little bit, okay, so what's the hard flat zone for? What's the cloud flat for, more importantly? Um, what are some zones that we can really kind of craft? And, and I talk a little bit about this in my defensive encyclopedia, where basically what we do is we break down what is what every zone does. And what you're going to see here is this is a, a zone drop cocktail that I'm really liking right now. Um, and this is really my Madden 22 uh, up until one point. So I'm going to put the curl flats on five, uh, five yard zone drop. And what you're going to see is this five yard zone drop. If I go with big nickel and I'm just going to pick the play cover three match. Now, it's very specific that I'm picking the cover three match. There's a lot of reasons for this. Um, and I'm going to go over some of those in the defensive guide. Some of those I'm going to save for that defensive guide. But the first thing is a seam flat zone. And we talked about this in the defensive encyclopedia. Um, a seam flat zone is really good against the underneath routes. Okay, so what you're going to see here is this outside guys in a seam flat Winfield. All I'm going to do is pass commit, and at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is he's going to jet out, and basically, almost always, I mean, he doesn't always intercept it, but he is a really scary throw for the offense. If the offense tries to throw that table route against that specific adjustment, there's no other adjustment that I've found up until this point that's going to be able to stop those table routes, but these 10-yard, or um, I'm not, sorry, not 10-yard, not but 5-yard seam flats this year really can play the flats. Um, I'm going to show you another example. Uh, on the other side of the field here so i'm just going to run a little flat route 
and I want you to watch what the seam flat zone is going to do. Throw the flat, and you see they jump it. So the seam flats, in my opinion, are the best zone in the game for reacting um, to the flats and also reacting to like quick routes like slants and stuff like that. Curl flats are good as well, but curl flats are not as good uh, in terms of the table route, really specific to the table route. I've seen the table route be able to be thrown a lot against curl flats. Let me show you this one more time. So again, five yard seam flat zone, five yard seam flat zone, really important distinction. And what you're gonna see, if I throw that, it's almost always gonna be an interception. Probably about 90% of the time he's gonna pick that off. And then also that's gonna stop bubble screens, that's gonna stop flats to the tight end, that's gonna stop table routes, it's, it's gonna stop a lot of the underneath routes. So um, that is how you stop table routes in Madden 22. I wanna thank you for watching this video. And again, if you're new to the channel and you wanna get my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides that I release every single week completely for free to the Madden community, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and I'll shoot you a list or a playlist that has all of the guides in them. And then also, I just wanted to kind of let you know, like I said, we're going to be dropping our first defensive guide later today. So be on the lookout for that and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you've texted the word Madden 208 or texted the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. But be sure to shoot me a text message. That way I can shoot you a, a message whenever we release our defensive guide. A lot of people have been asking me for help on defense. And I think you're going to be really impressed with what we put together. Thanks a lot, guys.